a colorful celebration, a religious festival like no other. Timked is one of the most important holidays for Ethiopian Orthodox Christians. Today on Inside Africa, a special look at the festivities that take place on the ground and in the water. It's the eve of Timked. And the anticipation is building. Every year, thousands of Ethiopians gather in the city of Gonda to celebrate the Epiphany, the day Ethiopian Orthodox Christians commemorate the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan River. But before that happens, a colorful procession takes place. And this day is about the tablets. They are the sacred replicas of the Ark of the Covenant, which contain the Ten Commandments. The day before Timket, the tablets are wrapped in cloth and placed on the head of the priest and then a parade into the streets begins. Drums escort the tablets down the packed roads as worshippers sing and clap along. Clergy adorned in ceremonial robes, congregants in white, about five local churches are marching their tablets through the street, and eventually all the priests with tablets will meet at the town center. Carpets are rolled out through the streets for the grand procession. As incense smoke fills the air dotted with colorful umbrellas meant to protect the tablets and surrounding ensemble. People have squeezed onto the main road, filling every vacant spot, everyone vying for a glimpse of the tablets. Timket is one of the few opportunities worshippers can be so close to the sacred relics. With the streets so crammed, the processions are slow moving. But for the faithful, the wait is worth it. We wait the whole year in anticipation of this holiday. When the day arrives, as per tradition, the Tabits and Gondar leave the churches for the baptism pool and the people, as you can see, are expecting the arrival of the tablets. I'm going to spend the night here, participate in the service, and in the morning, I will be baptized with the holy water after it's blessed by the Archbishop. As I'm a follower of the Orthodox Church, it makes me happy to come here and celebrate Timket. What makes me happy are the chants from singers of the Orthodox Church, and the whole show is great. The religious songs, whatever you see on the streets, the substance of the songs are spectacular. The long pilgrimage of the Tabits ends here, outside of Fasiladis Bath, formerly a royal palace. This is where the Tabits will rest for the night and where the public baptisms will take place the following day. The path leading up to the castle has been prepared sprinkled with grass called chafe. 
As evening falls, spectators surround the structure. Candles help light the way as chanting becomes more pronounced. Finally, the priests carrying the tablets appear. Now that the tablets have arrived, the night festivities begin. As drum beats vibrate through the night. An overnight vigil will take place around the arcs until dawn. And come mid-morning, congregants will immerse themselves into more celebrations.